Okay, in this video, let's take a look at the golf swing of Jenny Shin, LPGA star who's really got it going these days. Uh, great golf swing, so let's take a look here. Just a reminder, if it's your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. So first off with the driver here, we'll look at the plane and then just the athletic motion coming down. So down on the setup wise, great posture, great fundamentals, grips it perfect, just solid, solid fundamentals. Interesting player too, hits a lot of shots, a lot of interesting half shots and punch shots and different from a lot of the players you see out there. But plane wise, keeping it right up on the backswing plane with the hands, club head clearly off the plane obviously at this point, but better there than compromising anything that gets underneath here. And if you're working the plane in your own game, you want to try to keep that golf club from getting wildly under the plane. That causes a lot of problems on the downswing. So up above that plane, in good position here halfway up and then at the top fully wound up great flat left wrist club face a great position here get that line there and then in the downswing you can really see the athletic movement got these two lines on her right leg and you can really see in the transition how she's really just sitting straight down there's a, just a sit move and as she sits that allows the arms and the, the club to stay suspended up there and work their way down more naturally. But that athletic motion of sitting down and then turning is really the hallmark of so many great players today. Halfway down, rotating great, club face, perfect here, nice and square. And now the club in great position coming in, you know, low enough here to strike upward on the ball. And this Great athletic movement through here where she's pushing hard into the ground. You see that right foot really digging in at this point, which you won't see on the wedge shots, but you will see here because she needs the power, the force to push through the ground. Great that club head speed and then a massively full finish with great balance. Driver from the face on view. A little older video, but it's the same great motion. Great setup, spine tilt, perfect. You can see the angle here, back behind the ball in good position. If you struggle to hit good drives, you wanna make sure the ball isn't far enough forward in your stance. Make sure the shaft is neutral to slightly back with the hands. You don't want the hands for, or the handle forward over here like you would with an iron shot. And leaning back slightly helps. You don't need a lot of weight on your back foot, but tilting back helps you get in more of an upswing coming into the ball. So the great wide takeaway we saw from the other direction we know it's slightly above the plane. Incredible width and extension. And really working the triangle beautifully. So this consistency coming from everything moving together on that takeaway. And still turning, just winding, winding. And you can see that the shirt itself there, almost looking like the stretch of a muscle as she goes back. And the shoulders massively turned here well past 90 degrees. Club face in perfect position, hips at about 50 degrees. And then once again, this athletic action here, where as she sits down and starts to use the ground, she's only 5'4", not big, but she can move it because it's such an athletic motion here. And with the legs working, the core using the ground, creating great lag there. We see an awesome angle between the left forearm and the shaft. Even the shaft itself really bowing here as she starts it down, clears it out. And now the timing, perfect at impact to get the left arm and shaft lined up straight, club face dead square, and the club face still square after impact. And then a full release in that trademark finish all the way through. Mentioned it a little bit in the first driver clip how the wedge, wedge swing is much different. Short swing, obviously. Left arm on the shoulder plane. Same athletic move, but just this video clip to show the footwork, which I like to do for the wedge shots to make, you sh to make sure that you know that great wedge players have their feet on the ground longer to keep their body in posture and to allow the club itself to work on plane through impact. But you can see that here, she's flat footed in, in impact compared to the driver and then right on through. The plane itself, where the club is tracking, 
right on plane through the impact area and then well onto the finish. You can see the shaft coming out right on plane as well. This is a good clip here really to show how she does hit a lot of shots. She likes to knock the ball down, creates a lot of backspin, a lot of control, and she loves to get this thing up here and in the finish, sort of saw off the finish here, really keeping that face under control. And that's her entire finish on some shots. Interesting to see that. You don't see that with a lot of players these days. You used to see it more. Same great position here in this athletic move down. Sitting in the legs perfectly. And much like the wedge, less push off the ground because she's trying to control that club and club face. And the interesting part here is look at that handle disappear to the left. And we can still see the club head and the shaft over here. But where'd the handle go? The handle's flying out here to the left, which gives her that face control. And you can see the face at the end there as well. Perfectly square. That is a great recipe for spinning lower iron shots. This is another clip similar to the previous one. Even a longer follow through, but same thing. Approach shot, great wind up, sitting down, staying in posture. Longer shot, more power, you can see that using the ground more. And a fuller finish, but still not a full wraparound finish where that club would finish back around here, but instead holding off, old Ben Hogan style look there with the face held open. Great iron players can really dial up different trajectories, different distances, and different amounts of spin. And then even a different swing here, with an iron where, where it is a full finish, she is ripping this one down there. So obviously the distance for this shot fitting in perfectly with the sort of the full rip on this iron. Great back swing and position. You see that left wrist flat, club face perfect. And there's that athletic move down in the legs, rotating. But now look at that back foot pushing hard to create maximum force, but she's still in posture, which gives her control of the release and a completely full finish on this one to get maximum power. For those of you trying to create more force and more club head speed, this is a great look here. Like I said, not a huge player st stature wise, but she creates the most power she can because it's such a good move athletically. So watch here, the good width on the takeaway, not holding back on the wind of the body and the shoulders. And now the athletic move, watch the legs right there sitting down and then pushing down and rotating to create the force. If you just try to spin your hips open, it won't work. If you just try to rotate your chest through, it won't work. You must go and put pressure downward so that you're creating force down into this leg, force into this leg as you start to turn and that will delay the arms, delay the club and create all that whip that you want to see. And then of course, if you're flexible enough, you can get to this position, which most of us aren't, but these great players are, they make it look easy. Okay, well, that'll wrap it up for this video of Jenny Shin. And once again, just a reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you in the next one.